In today's Madden 22 video, I'm going to be breaking down the money play that pretty much everybody was using in the Ultimate Wild Card. This could arguably be considered the best play in Madden 22. It's a play that I think that Skimbo actually was originally the uh, the finder of, or at least the guy that I think has ran it the most this year. I'm going to talk about why it's so good, and also I'm going to talk a little bit about how I, I think you can make it even better with a couple little basic uh, adjustments. Now, if you're new to the channel, I want to encourage you to hit that subscribe button below. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel. I also want to let you know that today we're talking about the Seattle Seahawks playbook. I've actually got a full Seahawks bunch ebook uh, on my Patreon. If you want to get all of my ebooks, you can get everything by joining the Patreon for just 10 bucks a month. There'll be a link in the description if you want to check that out. Again, for just 10 bucks a month, you're going to be able to get access to, I already have uh, 14 ebooks in there, offensive and defensive ebooks, and then there's more uh, coming. So if you want to get better at this game, like I said, I'd really recommend that you sign up for the Patreon, and you could do so by clicking the link in the description. Now, today we're talking about a concept. Like I said, this is a concept you can actually do it out of multiple, um, you could do it out of multiple uh, bunches. It's not just something that's exclusive to Seattle. I think it's best out of Seattle, but you can do this out of other playbooks as well. And really what it is, is it's a couple of different plays kind of built together in one. The first one that we're going to go over is a play that you're probably familiar with at this point in the season, and that is the uh, verticals play. Obviously, we're going to talk about mesh spot, which is the featured play, and then also mesh post. So the play verticals, uh, ideally, what I would recommend is having a running back that has backfield mismatch, backfield master uh, for this. It's going to make it just as, I mean, it's just going to make it a lot better. So anyways, the play that we're going to first go over is verticals. And really what it is, is we're going to focus in on this tight end, uh, tight end wheel route and explain kind of why this is so good and why it's something that you can actually build your offense around. So if we have our uh, our bunch to the field, which means that we basically have our bunch set to the wide side of the field, the three receivers are on the side of the field with the most space. The beauty of bunch is that you can flip the formation really, really well. And the meta coverage that pretty much everyone is going to use in this year's game is a Mabel concept. And it's going to look kind of like this. Well, the problem is they basically have to make a one-two read. So what we can do with our running back here is we can just simply put him on an out route. And what you're going to see is that wheel on the right is going to pull all the zones out, and we can hit this wheel right in the middle of the field. Okay? Now, what the user is going to do is they're going to say, you know what, I'm tired of you hitting that tight end every single time. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put a guy in coverage on the tight end, or I'm just going to go use her that myself. If they make that decision, the middle of the field is going to probably be open, and you can hit this right in that little area right there and be able to run for you know a lot of yardage. So then they're gonna kind of be in a little bit of a dilemma and it's very likely that they're gonna make this adjustment right here where they're just gonna say, you know what, I'm gonna take this guy right here and man him up on the tight end. And then they're gonna have a hard flat over here with Lewis. And then it's very likely that you, know, you might see kind of honestly a similar type of concept here, which is then gonna leave them very vulnerable uh, to corner routes on the bunch side which is part of the you know dynamic of defending gun bunch. But now their user is going to have to guard the crosser, which we've proven that if they're going to play a cover three shell. Well, now what you can try to do is low ball this right to the tight end, just like that. Um, but that's where mesh spot makes this a lot better of a concept. So if we go over to mesh, or actually mesh post first, if we go over to mesh post, what we can do is basically put that outside receiver Adams on a five yard out route. And what that's going to mean for the offense is if they're trying to play, let's say they're trying to play some type of cover two to this side where they're trying to take away the crosser, you know, they might look because they like, kind of bring this guy inverted and then, you know, they're going to have kind of something that looks like this because they're trying to take away that crosser to RB. Well, then you could go to a play like mesh post where you have the seam wheel uh, to Jones, and then you can create concepts on the back side of this if you want to. Something very simple like this would be a great example. And then what you're going to see here is this wheel to the running back is going to get wide open. Now, what's so cool about Mesh Spot is it combines both of those concepts, and it actually improves upon the tight end wheel uh, concept, and I'm going to show you that uh, right here. So what we're going to do now We've given the threat of verticals, we've given the threat of mesh post, but now we can go to mesh spot. 
And what's so good about mesh spot is you still have that great wheel route to the running back, but now you have this wheel to the tight end, which is arguably, you know, probably the best route in the game this year. So all we're going to do is we're going to streak the R1 receiver. We're going to flat the circle receiver. And if you want to motion them out, you can. You don't have to. But what you'll see here is if they're in man coverage on the tight end, you can low ball it, and you're almost always going to get this little back shoulder catch animation just like that. The same thing is true on the left side. So let's say they're in man coverage on the running back, which is probably the most popular technique. What you'll see here, just low ball, and as you can see, it gets wide open. It's probably a lot better, honestly, to the running back uh, than it is to the tight end. So it's very likely that they're just going to use her that. Well, another defense that you might think, whoa, this might work, would be match coverage. Match coverage is not that good against this uh, concept specifically to the tight end. What you're going to see is the tight end's wide open. I can hit him in that pocket for a gain of 10, and we can just keep moving down the field, just keep moving down the field. Really, the only coverage in the game that's going to have any shot at this is like a kind of like a 10 yard, or not 10 yard, but a uh, five yard hook curl or vert hook type of zone. And the problem with that is um, then they're going to be susceptible to this seam streak right in the middle of the field. Let me show you that real quick here. So you see here, whoop, I don't know why my, oh, I'm sorry, I'm hot right in the wrong guy here. There we go. Okay. So I got my seam streak to the R1. And what you should see, my play art's glitched. Uh, so if you watch this Lazard, now I've got the chance of hitting him, or I could just wait on that wheel to pass, um, kind of pass the zone drops. And as you can see, I could have that uh, be in position for that to be very effective. Another little piece uh, that you get with this is the fact is they're going to be in a position where they have to use, they still have to use the running back, right? So they're going to have to go over here at the snap of the ball. And then what you're going to be able to do is you're going to be able to basically from mesh uh, spot, you can throw uh, this route to R1 right up the middle. Just simply pass it inside, click on and cut it off. Okay. So it's a simple little concept, but it's really, really hard to guard, especially in zone. I think the best way to guard this is to just simply go to man coverage. But the problem is if you go to man coverage, now you're giving your, you know, you, you have some vulnerabilities within that coverage as well. But, you know, mesh spot, like I said, it's, it's one of the hardest plays to stop in the game. This tight end wheel route is just so good, especially if you can master that low ball right there. If you can master that low ball, what that means that they're going to have to do is they're going to have to bring somebody from inside on him. So, for example, they're going to have to bring this guy on uh, man coverage to the tight end. Or, you know, an exam another example could be maybe bringing this this um, this safety in a coverage assignment on the tight end. Now, they're, it's just they're, they're, you're having to stretch your adjustments a lot. So you get something like this. It's a little bit of a baity play. They don't always catch the pick, I can tell you that. But that's the, probably the best way to stop it. Um, the cool part is you could build around this as well. So, for example, we know that one of the more popular adjustments is to just man the running back up, right? We know they're going to try to just live and die uh, by just manning up the running back. Well, what you can do, uh, what you can do off of this, is you could take this backside guy. So, like, you're planning for them to have the running back in man coverage, right? So what we can simply do here is we could take Adams and we could put him on a streak or a skinny post. We could put the back on an out, okay? And then if we wanted to, we could simply put this guy on a slant, and then we could have this guy on the flat. So you see here, this is kind of the concept that we've now created because they have to play man coverage on these wheel routes, and it could leave them very susceptible because – now, you know, you've got the out route that's going to win. You've got the slant that's going to win. The tight end route, honestly, will probably win. And then if you have outside apprentice or something, you could have a skinny post coming over the top. So you see how good of a concept that is just from looking at the routes. So this is just one of the hardest concepts to stop in this game. You could mix, uh, like I said, you can kind of mix in verticals uh, if you want to. You could, you could do stuff like this where you streak the running back this is one of Henry's favorite setups. You just streak him. All the zones are going to fall away, and you can check that down right there. So, anyways, guys, a lot you can do from bunch this year. One of the best – I mean, it's probably the best offense in the game, at least the most uh, con consistently uh, uh, consistent offense you're going to see in competitive Madden. Pretty much every pro runs this play. So it's going to instantly improve your game. You can also find these concepts from other formations as well. 
And you can also create them um, through different hot routes and things like that that we're going to be sharing on our Patreon. So if you're not joined the Patreon yet, you want to get all my ebooks, exclusive tips, all that stuff, head on down to the description. You can sign up for the Patreon today for just $10 a month, and you can cancel whenever you'd like. But as soon as you sign up, you're going to get instant access to every ebook that I've released all season long and every ebook that I will release while your subscription is active. Thanks for watching. If you are still watching and you want to join that Patreon, head on down to the description and click the link down there and go check out the membership.